Hi, this is Justin from agriscaping.com. So we're talking plant selection. I'm out here next to the Queen Creek Botanical Gardens and plant selection really has two major categories. The first category you really want to concern yourself with is your trees. So all your fruiting type trees, the things that are going to create microclimates. Now each of us live in a USDA climate zone relative to our frost dates. And there's also sunset zones. So there's a lot of different ways to look at the different zones. You want to look at it first from a global perspective then to your local perspective, but your backyard literally can go plus or minus two climate zones, USDA climate zones, just by how you manage microclimates. So one of the first things you really want to make sure you get right is you get your trees right and you get your trees in the right location. And so in looking at that, if you're in Arizona, you can go to agriscaping.com, you'll be able to find out more and have a year-round fruit calendar because it's possible in Arizona to have a fruit harvesting every single month of the year. And out here at the Queen Creek Botanical Garden, we're actually create a path where you can experience all these different fruits in a year-round fruit forest. Every month will have its own. But you find a chart like this, you've got the harvest dates of each of the different plant varieties that we find successful in our area. Now, there are USDA and county extension offices. Every state in the United States has an ag department that's connected to a specific state-run university. It's a land-grant university. And from those universities, there are extension offices where you can get charts about plants that actually will grow here. And that's where these kind of things often come from. But these charts will only give you stuff as it grows in full suns. So now we're looking at our plant list. This is the second level of our plant selection is all about your gardening calendar. These are your annual type stuff that when you plant it, it has certain seeding dates, transplant dates, and harvest dates that you need to pay well attention to. Because if you get this wrong, and this comes from hundreds of years of data coming from farmers growing in full sun. So the traditional ones that you'll get from the county extension is all about full sun. But what about the five other microclimates that you have? You don't just have one. In most yards, you'd barely even have enough room for that full, full sun space. And so you're going to need to get to know all the other microclimates in your yard. Even get a nice heat map of your yard that we provide through agriscaping.com. Just look up Get Started and look at the consult thing and you'll see some examples of what a heat map looks like to help you identify exactly where things are going to grow best in your area and you'll get plus or minus again two USDA climate zones. So I can be growing things here in Arizona that Florida is growing in the winter and I can also be growing things that Oregon is growing in the summer. So I can really expand my range of things just by how I use microclimates. Tune in again with a lot of other opportunities to learn about plant selection in the coming days.